Welcome to Jurgen's Journeys. On this episode of Jurgen's Journeys, we're going to Henderson County, North Carolina, to a little area called Fruitland, the home of Fruitland Baptist Bible College. I want to show you a little bit about the Fruitland campus, and then we'll go from there and explore a little bit in the town of Bat Cave and Chimney Rock, which is in Rutherford County, and uh, we'll just kind of knock around the area just a little while and uh, show you some of the sights and just have a good time. So uh, fasten your seatbelt and come along. you enjoyed that little tour of the campus of uh, Fruitland College, um, the library, and uh, a few pictures of the chapel. Of course, the glorious morning out here is just breathtaking. Uh, pictures don't do justice to the beauty of this uh, time of year, the campus, um, but as, as beautiful as this place is, uh, what's even more beautiful is the heart of the men and women who are students here and who serve here in various capacities, from the administrators to the uh, cooks to the professors. Um, wonderful, uh, beautiful people that are dedicated to the Lord Jesus Christ. This place uh, if you can summarize what it's all about, uh, I would have to say that this place is about Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, who came to save the souls of you and me, and all those who accept Him and follow Him, trust Him, uh, they will go home to be with Him. Now, when you're young, that really doesn't mean much to you sometimes. I mean, when I was younger, it didn't mean much to know that, or you know, I didn't care about that. But uh, really, at, at any age, that's the most important truth that you can know. And the people that are here are here to grasp that truth more fully and learn how to share that wonderful truth that Christ came to save sinners and that every person, man, woman, and child, needs to know Jesus Christ if they're going to have eternity in the home of God himself. So uh, I thank God for this place and for these people and for the, the beauty of every heart that is here. Well, the campus at Fruitland College is a beautiful place, but there are a lot of other beautiful places around. Uh, if you go down the mountain, uh, near, near, you can uh, get to a little town called Bat Cave, which I believe is only about seven or eight miles away, although it's a pretty windy road as I remember, and uh, it takes a little while to get there, but we may go take a look at that and uh, past Bat Cave or beyond that is uh, uh, Chimney Rock State Park, beautiful hike which I've never taken. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take that today or not. It's getting a little bit cloudy. Of course, if the 
weather changes by the time I get down there, it, it might uh, cut that out. Just join me if you will. We'll uh, we'll see what we can see. Now we're going down the Chimney Rock Road. This is one of those you better watch where you're going roads. Hello. Today. All right. How are you? Good. How many do we have today? Just me. Just you. Okay. That will not work here because we're state park, state not national. State park. So uh, seventeen dollars. Yes, sir. Okay. Since how? you're past seventy, a senior, I think it says. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you're sixty-five or above, I can get you a two-dollar discount. Take okay. Fifteen. Well. Uh, I don't think I'll go this time okay. then. Okay. Come back and see us right. another time. For now, you'll turn left behind the building. All right. Do you have a brochure or anything sure. that I can look at? Here's a brochure, but there's also a trail map that will tell you all about the park. We'd love to have you back. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your afternoon. Well, I'm going back down this little windy road. I didn't want to pay $17 to uh, go take a hike, probably have a heart attack. I don't know how long that hike is, but you know, by myself and kind of a cloudy day, I didn't want to spend the money. I'm a little bit tight that way, but uh, oh well, I got a brochure and we can read about it. Maybe next time I can bring somebody. And maybe talk them into paying. <laughs> oh well. Well, I think we're going to stop here and get out and look around a little bit. Let's go up the road and look at some of these shops.
I'm in the little tourist trap called Chimney Rock. Uh, there's all kinds of neat little shops and places to spend your money. Uh, some pretty uh, pretty nice things, I'm sure. Uh, I think the nicest thing about this whole area is this babbling brook. And uh, fortunately, there's a little walk right here. But unfortunately, it's starting to rain. I mean, it's springtime after all. So I'm gonna head back to the van before I get soaked. So I'm sitting out front of this little old general store watching it rain. Yeah, it's coming down now. Look at her run. Hot dog. My van's way down there. I think I'll just wait here a few minutes. Boy, am I glad I didn't pay $17 to hike Chimney Rock. <laughs> well, I made it back to the van. Yeah, but not without getting just a little bit wet. <laughs> and, of course, I had left some windows cracked. So, had a little drying to do when I got here, but nothing melted. Nothing will rust. So, it's all good. I enjoy the rain. I love to see a little rain like this. Um, just uh, not sure where to go from here. Now, there's a rainy, foggy view of Chimney Rock. And you look up through that pass right through there. That's where we're going to head back to Fruitland. I guess we'll have to come down here another day when it's prettier, but it's all right. It's been a great day. I'm thankful for it. I think I'm going to go take a nap. Well, good morning. Um, getting ready to leave Fruitland this morning, head back home. Uh, the weather's not going to be that great as far as, uh, you know, going into Asheville and sightseeing they're calling for uh, uh rain and so we'll just head on home and come back up here another time i'm i think i'm gonna come back with a load of books and donate to the college uh anyway we'll see this morning i'm just taking a walk it was a beautiful walk to up the road and uh we're gonna go down to the creek and uh and back which is probably half a mile or so but i usually take about a mile walk every morning at home so i'm gonna do that here so uh come along well just a little stop along the way here we're at the very bottom almost to the bridge but i noticed something you know when you go to home depot or lowe's or place like that and you buy sod in rolls well, guess what? That field right there, that's where that stuff comes from. Some of it, anyway. But they've got a, they've got a uh, patch of sod machined out of the ground right there. The field is all beautiful cut grass. <laughs> Wish I had some of that at home. I got a few, I got a few spots I could use some of that. Anyway. We ain't got to the bridge yet. It's just back there behind me. So we'll uh, we'll head down there right now, okay? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna head back. This is a beautiful spot I love to walk to. And guess what? I see the sun starting to peep up over the hill across the way. Maybe we'll get a shot of that sunrise this morning. Anyway, back there is where we're going top of the hill that's where the school is so half a mile back see you in a little bit well it's going home time i'm all hooked up I'm already down to where i walked this morning and just wanted to show you that field they're working on it's like i thought they're out here rolling up turf wish I had a better lens you can see they got it in rolls over there and then they're gonna take that loader probably put it up on a tractor trailer or something they got a bunch of equipment out there to get this turf up but today is digging up grass day <laughs> look at that field of turf 
Well, I pulled off at a rest stop, took a few minutes off the road. I'm past Asheville. Man, this turned out to be a beautiful day. Uh, I had already told my wife I was coming home, so I, hate, I can't disappoint her. But I sure would have loved to stop and knock around Asheville a little bit. But I guess it would take all day long, and I need to get home and mow anyway. Uh, I don't have the kind of turf that you saw earlier, but... Uh, my grass does grow and I gotta get out there and mow it. Uh, anyway, for Jurgen's Journeys, uh, this is Jurgen signing off and wishing you a safe journey wherever you go. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I sure appreciate it. And I hope that uh, you'll join me again next week on Tuesday when I try to do another little video of Jurgen's Journeys. God bless you.